Continuing with the VECM part 1, in this video, I'll talk about various parts related with outcome of vector error correction model. Basically, vector error correction model talks about two causality. One is long term causality and another one is short term causality. It means long causality and short term causality. Talking about the first part is error correction term. Out of four variables, money supply is dependent variable and GDP, interest, WPI, these are independent series or independent variable. Now I'd like to talk about only the target variable which is money supply. So the coefficient of money supply is minus 0 0.2428 and this 0 0.1150 is nothing but a standard error. On this value, there is one star. So first and foremost, let's talk about this star value. In our studio, generally, if there is one star, it means it is significant at 5%. If there are two star, it means it is significant at 1% and so on. So here, it means simply that it is significant at 5%. So this term talks about long-term causality. It means, it means 24.28% is there in terms of long-term causality. Then the M1 minus 1, it means lag 1 of money supply, lag 2 of money supply, and lag 3 of money supply. The coefficient of lag 1 of money supply is 0 0.2841 but not significant. Similarly, at lag 2, value is 0 0.9637 but it is significant at 5%. Similarly, if I talk about at lag 3, the value is 0 0.2654, but not significant. It means out of from lag 1 to 3 of money supply, only lag 2 has significant value. It means there is no short run causality of its own lag on money supply. Then let's talk about another variable which is GDP. The value is minus 0 0.2793 and it is significant at 1%. Similarly, lag 2 of GDP has value in negative but significant at 5% and the GDP at lag 3 it is also in negative but not significant. It means out of 3 lag, 2 lags are having significant value. So we, we can say that there is short run causality on money supply derived from GDP. Similarly, if I talk about interest of lag 1, lag 2 and lag 3, in entire lag there is no significant value like at uh, uh, this then 
this and then at like three there is no significant value it means we can say that there is no short run causality on money supply derived from interest and if I talk about WPI like one like two and like three out of like one two three like one has significant value like three has significant value but not significant in lag two of WPI it means we can say that there is no short run causality on money supply derived from WPI sorry uh, we can say that there is short run causality because out of three lag there are two lags which have significant value to sum up we can say that there is long-term causality on money supply derived from interest GDP and WPI but there is short-run causality derived only from GDP and WPI but not from interest and the lag of money supply itself. That is all about VECM in our studio. Thank you very much.